know you can do this. You've got this. Oh, hey. Hi. Would you like to join us? We'd be happy to have you. That's great. Consider yourself an official member of our club. You're gonna love it here. about one of Japan's first emperors, but there's almost no information about him online. How am I supposed to write a report about this guy if there's only like one paragraph about him on Hyapedia? This is seriously stressing me out. What am I supposed to do if the internet fails me? Really? You have an idea? If it works out, please let me know. to using the internet, I completely forgot that I could just read a book. This is so embarrassing. Please don't tell anyone about this. It's our little secret, okay? Ugh, like, oh my god. Have you seen Horida Parisu? She's so creepy. Even worse than those occult club freaks. Whenever she's not in class, she, like, runs off and hides somewhere. What the hell is she up to? I bet she's got a dirty little secret. If you can find her hiding spot and snap a photo of what she's up to, I'd so totally be your best friend forever. Hurry up so I can spill the tea, girl! Seriously? She just reads books? That's it? No way. That can't be the end of it. There's got to be something else going on here. Thanks for the help, though. Now I know where to find her. What do you need? Okay, Osana. It's time. You can do this.
What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. What do you need? Pleasure. Sorry to see you go, but I understand. I wish you the best of luck in whatever you pursue. Oh, hey! requirement for joining my guild but I guess I could let you in anyway okay you're in just try not to make too much noise I'm concentrating over here about it's 
those stupid rumors, right? I don't care what people are saying. You're my friend. I'm not going to abandon you. You don't understand. If you're seen with me, you'll become a target too. I don't want you to get dragged into my mess. I already told you. I don't care. I won't desert a friend just because of some petty drama. Osana, it's not your choice to make. I've already made my decision. Please, just let me be alone. Hi, Baru, I... I can't talk you out of this, can I? Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I'll be at your side in a heartbeat. Why are you interrupting me? Ugh. It's really embarrassing to talk about this sort of thing, but I'm never gonna solve this problem on my own. So, uh, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. You know those five tan girls who are always on their phones? I wanna ask one of them out on a date. But they all seem to hate me. They avoid me and ignore me whenever I try to talk to them. If I did something wrong, I have no clue what it was. So I was wondering, could you maybe uh, talk to those girls and uh, ask them what they think of me? I just want to know if I can salvage things. Really? You'd help me with this? That's... that's... thank you. I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him before. The boy with, like, super messy hair, right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. He looks like he's never used a comb in his life. I want to ask you something. Oh, do you mean that guy who, like, doesn't know how to stand up straight? Seriously, he's always hunched over like a caveman. He's gonna end up with major back problems. I want to ask you something. Oh. My. God. I know who you're talking about. The boy with giant glasses that cover half his face. Why can't he just get contacts like the rest? I want to ask you something. Are you talking about the guy with all the stubble on his face? He really needs to shave it off. It's like he doesn't even know what razors are for. I want to ask you something. Who's that? Is that one of the boys who wears a bandana? I don't know which one you're talking about, but they look so goofy with those stupid things on their heads. Why are you interrupting me? Glasses? Hair? Posture? Really? A bunch of superficial stuff like that? I didn't realize that sort of thing was such a big deal. Anyway, thanks for letting me know. Tomorrow, I'll be a new man! Senpai, do you ever have recurring nightmares? Nightmares? Well, lately I've been having a dream where I'm standing outside of school, underneath a tree, and for some reason I can't move a single muscle. I'm like a statue. I guess I wouldn't really call it a nightmare, just a weird dream. How about you? Sometimes I have dreams where... Somebody ties my hair around something really heavy and throws it into the ocean. I get dragged into the water and drown. That sounds pretty scary. You know, I read a book that said our dreams are actually reflections of our subconscious feelings. Maybe your dream means that you subconsciously feel worried that your hair is a hazard. If you cut your hair, maybe you'd stop having the nightmares. No way! 
It took years for my hair to get this long. I wouldn't cut it because of a scary dream. When do you plan to cut your hair anyway? It's almost touching the ground. I made a promise to myself not to cut it until... A certain idiot stops being stupid and realizes how I feel. Huh? I don't get what you mean. Uh, anyway, if our dreams really do have meaning, what does your dream represent? I... haven't really figured that out yet. No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy.